Okay, I think I can bounce over. Oh, the skills, man. The skills. What is up, guys? And welcome back to another Big Bang Racing video. And by the way, this is a... This is a very interesting glitch. I'm actually not even touching the screen right now. This is just doing it by itself. Uh, I just think it's kind of funny, like what it's doing. But anyways, guys, um, so for this video, we are going to be playing a couple of levels from Nanad Pleasure. Um, forgive me if I did not say that name correctly, but he has created a handful of levels that are dedicated to my Master Quest series. And if you're not aware of my Master Quest series, it is a series of levels that are very hard to beat and feature some pretty unusual tricks that you need to do in order to beat the level. So we are going to play Nanad Plagers version of Master Quest. So far, he has made three Master Quest levels. Um, the third one is not shown up yet, but I have a Discord link to that. So we are going to be playing that for the video as well. So I have played Master Quest level three a, a little bit, but we are going to be playing levels one through three, and I have not seen levels one or two yet. So we are going to be going into this blind. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Level 1. Alright, so, looks like we start off with a nice little wall jump to kind of get ourselves warmed up. I actually have not warmed up, so this is actually good that that part of the level is in there. And now we have uh, some little tight precision, being careful going through certain passages, kind of getting us a feel of what is going to come in this series. And we do another wall jump to, again, practice. Ooh, it looks like there's something up here. There's a couple different ways to go. We'll see what's uh, here. So there's a crusher passage here that we need to time out, and then we slow our way down. Um, oh, okay. That's just a uh, that's just a path for getting the map piece. Nice. So, um, I guess we're just gonna go for all three map pieces. Okay. So we have a ooh a little throwback to uh, my first level, uh, going down a sideways hill while trying to avoid crushers. Nice. It, it it's kind of inspired by what I made there. Ooh, I almost hit the electric there. Let's make sure we're being careful. We're, we're tilting back so that our head is not touching the electric. We at least have a better chance of it not hitting. Okay, and then we just activate our elevators. Really nice uh, how it's set up, the camera magnets. And it seems to flow pretty nicely with the crusher. That's uh, pretty cool. This level is really well made. It's like really well designed too, and it has like a really cool adventure aspect to it. Okay, so looks like we're going to do a wall jump here. Oh, oh, oh! That was a lot shorter than expected. Ooh, we almost lost our helmet there. And then we fall down, and we do it again. This time we get the map piece. Wait, when did I get the second one? I actually was not paying attention to that. I think I may have got it at the at the elevator bridge creating part, but we passed level one on our first try. Really fun level. Really good introduction to what this series is gonna be like. So very good. Very, very good. Double like. All right, now that we got all warmed up, let's go ahead and get into Master Quest Level 2. All right, let's do this. Ah, okay, nice. It's a it's a throwback to, uh, to the introduction of 
my second Master Quest level, where he had to ride a big boulder, and so I'm assuming it's gonna launch off pretty quickly here. Let's see if we can time this out on our first try. And we do, nice, all right. Go ahead and fall down this uh, precarious downward passage here. All right, we have another crusher to avoid on this hill. Make sure that we do not bounce too much or else we will hit our head on the electric. Okay, we're doing another wall jump. It's a little bit of a longer one. Oh my gosh, okay. Almost, almost took an L there. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh jeez, oh no, 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 no. And there's my first death, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I knew it would come. I mean, that's just basically what Master Quest is. You just have to know that you are going to die. <laughs> that's basically, yeah, what Master Quest is all about. All right, let's see if we can actually time this out better. Let's see if we can do two good hops. And we do. All right jump across these and I might need a boost for this but we're gonna try to jump Ooh, we almost hit that back wheel on the electric okay some slow falling here avoiding that little piece of electric do another wall jump whoa wow that's a good trick right there um, I almost went for another jump there I almost did. I am so glad I didn't. Okay. Make our way through here. Go over this little hill right here. And make sure that we are going slow, even though it does not seem like the electric's that close to us, but it is a lot closer than what you think. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this next room here. So we are finding a couple force field switches. So we need to probably find the green force field switch up here in order to get to the other switches. It looks like there's two I should activate, deactivate, I mean. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and for good, for good measure, let's do a flip here. And I'm assuming the green force field switch is over here. Over here a little ways. Ooh, okay. That can be hard to get over if you're not careful. Those jagged little hills. Looks like we need to um, get over it upwards. So we're going to do a little wheelie here and then tilt forward to climb up it. And we make our way through. And we do some more wall jumping fun here. Little, this is kind of, this is kind of similar to um, the diagonal jumps um, in Master Quest 8. Um, re really fun level. Um, definitely quite a bit more difficult than level one. It was a little bit longer, a little bit of a puzzle element added to it, which I really like. And obviously, I'm giving a double like on it. Nice level. All right, now we have the hardest level of this series so far. We have Master Quest Level 3. Now, I played a little bit of this level, and I gotta say, this ain't easy. It no, it's not easy. So let's go ahead and do our first little maneuver here. We go over some of these jagged um, ground obstacles and we need to make sure that we're doing it very carefully as we do not want to hit our head above the electric. Now this part actually took me a little bit to figure out. So basically what this is, there are two gears and there is a small hill that is in between the two gears. 
And the easiest way to get past this part of the obstacle is to use a gear tooth as a, as a ramp to get over the little small hill uh, without bouncing too much to where you hit your head on the electric. I'm not yet able to perform this perfectly every time, but I am getting better at it. And you need to make sure that your back wheel is not um, touching the lower part of the ground or the gear tooth will crush your back wheel and you're just going to get launched forward. And there's no way of surviving that. So, all right, let's try this again. Go a little earlier and, and we get past it. And we need to make sure that we do not spend too much time trying to transition as the gear tooth will get ya. Can't stop at that part. All right, so this part, you need to go kind of fast and stay focused um, as the crumbling ground will make things quite difficult getting past that part. And so now we need to time our wall jump to where we're avoiding the crushers. I think this is the furthest I got. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. At least we have another shot. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, let's try it. Um, oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to like really jump up. <gasps> oh no! Oh, I thought I would. I, I thought I had that. So I'm assuming you only get one shot at that, and um, if you don't make it. I mean, it might be possible. Ah, yeah, I'm always like really hesitant on that part because I don't want to go too fast over the uh, over the little hill because I will bounce like that. So, I mean, you could wait there, but like you kind of have to do a little balancing act. And so, I don't know, maybe I should try to wait there. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to make sure that I'm tilting forward when I'm going down, so I kind of cancel out the bounce. Oh my gosh. Go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. Yeah, that part is not easy. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Yeah, you gotta be on the, uh, the right edges of the, the platform to have a shot of getting past that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I just need to make sure I'm tilting forward, but I don't think I should be doing it too much because I think I might be bouncing um, quite a bit there. So I'm just gonna like do like a little like flutter tap kind of thing. And that might work every time. But we'll see if I die. Okay, let's do a little bounce here. And we uh, are at the point where I got the furthest. So we have a little boulder riding here. And, um, oh crap, I knew, I, I, I knew, I knew what I forgot. Okay, I was supposed to, um, okay, so you see the middle crusher. Um, that activation switch that you see up at the top, um, that is connected to the crusher, and I needed to time it out um, to where the crusher is, um, like, down, and then turn off the switch. But I didn't do that. But, hey! We are going to challenge myself. I'm going to see if there is an opening to where I can actually get across this thing. So sit tight. Okay. I think I can bounce over. Oh, the skills, man. The skills. I don't need to do the level correctly. Oh, man. Okay. So this is the first I've gotten. Um, 
this TNT run here is actually a whole lot harder than what it looks like because the barrels are spaced out to where you cannot slow down. But if you go too fast, the barrels will explode. So I'm gonna try to do one motion here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for those crushers to go down and we're gonna go. All right, let's go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> All right, we have another crusher to avoid here. Let's just go now. Uh, whoa, 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 okay, 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 we're, we're playing smart, all right. Go, 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 whoo, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is making me nervous, okay. Okay, I have not seen any of this before. What is this? What is this? <laughs> what? Um, hello? What is this insanity? <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna have to make sure that I am not uh, launching off too fast or I definitely will hit that electric over to the right. So let's try this out here. Go. Ooh, boy. Okay, okay, okay. We have a little break, little break. We have a map piece that we should get there. Let's go, go. No, 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 no. No, 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 <laughs> no! Oh, I was doing so good. Oh, all right. I'm gonna have to edit stuff now. Oh, great. Oh, fun time editing. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys back there at the crusher part. So this is what you're supposed to do in this part. So wait for the crusher to crush down and then turn it off. That's the easy way of doing it. Well, it's the correct way of doing it. So let's get through this here. And we're gonna wait for the crushers. And we're just gonna, just to be safe, we're gonna wait, wait on this crusher here. And then, I'm gonna wait here. And we're gonna go. And then go. Ooh, all right. Ooh, I wonder if I can jump over this. No, we can't, no, we can't, no, we can't, no, we can't. <gasps> I am gonna have to do a slow motion on that. Do you see how close I was to being crushed there? That was insane. Yeah, that is, yeah. Future editor Matt, please do a slow motion on that. Please. Oh my gosh. All right, so we are back here. Okay. Yeah, you can just jump. Yeah. On that part. Okay. Get the map piece and then we jump over like this. All right, now what are we doing? Okay, so it looks like we're doing more wall jumping. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is 500 cc. You have to keep your momentum going. Uh, I mean, doing parkour on a 500 cc enforcer is possible, but like, you know, like wall jumping is like, yeah, really hard on 500 cc. Okay, what are we doing here? I'm just gonna drop down here and see what we have. Okay. A little bit of a Super Kaizo World reference by Ippy Goose Goose. Kind of looks similar to the end portion of the level. Let me do some jumps. And by the way, I think you have to have boost in order to get past that part. And I lost my helmet, but no big deal. We're still alive. I have a little puzzle section of the level here now. Go ahead and run out our boost to get over these hills. And uh, not enough for a flip here. Um, okay, let's go ahead and activate. And I'm assuming we just go down. Oh, down and around. All right. 
and uh, we wait for the elevator. Based on the thumbnail, I think we're close to the end here. Oh wow! Okay, I was not, <laughs> I was not paying attention. <laughs> okay, pay attention to the elevator, Matt. Come on, pay, pay attention to the gear that's on the elevator. And three, two, one, go! Oh my! Okay, we are being so freaking careful right now. If there is anything, okay. <laughs> wow, that yeah. The difficulty spike between two and three. Woo! I can only imagine what level four is gonna be like. I'm definitely doing a video on it, cause yeah, this is basically what I'm gonna be doing. Um, yeah, I already double liked it, cause uh, I already played it. But anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like button down below. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell notification. If you would like to stay updated on the videos that I upload, you'll get a notification. That is all I have for you guys today. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.